Hi friends, welcome to Painting for Wellness. I'm your community artist, Bethany Bennett, and we are here at the Amphitheater in ACA, Atlantic Center for the Arts main campus. And it is a beautiful day to paint. So let's take a little mental and visual journey to Peru. This is our reference picture. It is called Vinicunca, Peru. Um, they also call it Rainbow Mountain. And we're gonna use this for our reference picture, but our painting does not have to look just like this. It's just giving us some inspiration and motivation um, for our painting. So this particular landscape is known as Rainbow Mountain and these are 14 different types of sediment in the rocks here. And so just four years ago, they started to be able to see these different, um, 14 different sediments because snow had been covering it previously. So it's pretty cool that it's visible now. Um, however, that affects um, the environment, but it's a beautiful thing to see. And so we are going to go there together today. Um, first, you'll need to gather some supplies. I'm using a very small canvas. You can use um, canvas or mixed media paper. And then I have pretty much the full color wheel. I've got green, yellow, blue, red, orange, a brown, and a white. And I've got a variety of paint brushes. So you guys take your time and gather your things. And we're gonna start with scumbling. So once you're ready, we're gonna start with scumbling. Scumbling is a sketch with paint. And this is kind of like doing a preliminary drawing just with paint on your paintbrush. So I'm gonna do it with a very light brown just so that I can, um, if I need to go back and cover it up, I can do that. So I put this main line in there, right there. And I love how there's a little bit of green and all these yellows and reds. But this is just gonna help me lay out a framework for where uh, the different colors of paint are gonna go. And obviously mine's gonna be a little bit different um, than the actual reference picture. And I encourage that. You guys can put your mountains wherever you want. So we've got all this in the background. This comes over here. This is gonna be fun once we start putting these colors in here. Okay, now, that I've kind of laid out the mountain range. I'm gonna go in and pop in my sky. And I'm just gonna mix a tiny bit of blue in with my white. And you can, you know, use a dark blue or you can really put whatever color is in the sky that you want. So you're going to bring the blue all the way down to the peaks of the mountains. I 
was doing a little research on this and it's about a hundred miles or so away from Machu Picchu, which is another location that I have to visit at some point. Oops, I can go back and change that. It's a beautiful day to paint outside. <clears throat> So see how it gets real white down here? You can do that. You can change your value in the blue and let it get lighter as it gets to closer to the mountaintops. Gorgeous out. Hello. We do have a beehive on location, so don't be surprised if one or two of them pop up. Okay, so we can go back in there once that's dry with some white and pop in some clouds. All right, okay, so I'm gonna make kind of like an orangish brown, couple different sand colors on my palette. And I'm gonna just start working them up with kind of like stripes. So, and you don't have to go in the same pattern like with the red and the green and all that. You can do whatever colors you want. Um, I do like this color scheme though very very beautiful but I'm going to mix my orange and my brown and some white and I'm gonna make a couple different variations of sand colors now if you already have um, khakis or um, different colors like that that simulate these colors, then go ahead and use them if they're already out of the tube. I didn't have any good ones, so I'm just gonna mix mine. This is really cool. I imagine you can hike this. That'd be something I would definitely want to do. This goes over here. A lot of reds. So I think it'd be pretty cool if you were living here and then this was always covered with thick layer of ice and snow and then all of a sudden it melts one day and this appears.
So I think as long as you're doing those brush strokes and just kind of like bringing them down on both sides, we're gonna create this natural line. Don't even really have to draw it, but we know where it is. I'm gonna put a little yellow in here. And I had to put green on my palette because of this little stripe there. Love that. Remember, you can always flip your canvas around too if it's easier for you to paint in, from a different direction. Sometimes I flip mine, you know, this way or this way or this way just so that I don't get paint all over my hands and stuff like that. Also, it might not be evident to you, but I... Uh, I'm really using this as a kind of like a meditative tool. So if you hear me taking deep breaths, it's because I try to focus on my breathing while I'm painting. It keeps my mind off of things that aren't important right now. It keeps me focused on um, what's in front of me. So I encourage you to breathe along. <laughs> breathe and breathe and paint along. And what I love about this landscape is that you cannot mess it up. really no wrong way to do this. And even if it comes out as like an abstract thing with just stripes, then so be it. That's what it was meant to be. green in there. If I go to Peru though, I gotta tell ya, I'm gonna have to go to a bunch of other places down in South America too. It's not just gonna be one stop shop. It's gonna be a lot of countries. I'm talking Argent Argentina, Chile, um, Venezuela. I'll need a tour guide. Patagonia. Gotta go to Patagonia. This is fun. I 
I am kind of just playing now because you, I'm telling you, you can't really mess this up. These beautiful like strokes of color going out down here, you could do whatever you wanted to. If you wanted to put all this uh, brush or more, you know, cliffs and stuff, you can do that. We'll put some darker areas over here for some contrast. And then it kind of comes up here. Love how it has that marbled effect. So cool. And mountain ranges are kind of like trees in the sense that um, as long as you give them some variation, they don't have to look exactly like whatever the picture is showing you. That's the fun thing about painting organic scenes and objects. So I'm just establishing this back ground of mountains back here. And I can always go back in and change them if I want or lighten them up. kind of like swirls of reds and oranges over here. And now my palette is just a mess. But it's okay. That little dark spot right there. Hmm. More reds and tans here. I might want to switch over to a smaller paintbrush also. Great way to get variety in uh, brush strokes is to just change your painting utensil.
So I've kind of let some of these stripes dry a little bit so that when I go to lay down a color next to it, um, it doesn't kind of blend in or mess up the color. Just a nice little white spot right here. And then it's just a matter of filling everything in and then going back and um, reapplying some of the layers. So I'm going to try and darken up this edge right here and then lighten up um, this area so that really pops. be able to see that edge right here. It's an implied edge because we didn't actually make that line, we just implied it. <laughs> nice white spot right here.
Well, I'm not trying to match the colors exactly, and I hope you're not either. Because I want you to make your own decisions about this landscape. I could really spend a lot more time on this painting, guys. I'm talking like, this is an only, I wanna say an eight by 10 canvas. And I could be working on this thing for days. And happily too, that's the thing. And that's the difference between work and relaxation. Had a busy day and it was kind of hectic. But now that I've painted for a little bit, I got my head back in the game. You know, I'm feeling a lot more relaxed and serene than when I first sat down with you guys. I hope you are too. Well, these are fun little journeys we've been going on, guys. I love traveling with you. So obviously I could work on this much longer. I would love to go back in and redo some of these brush strokes, do these lines a little clearer, maybe with a smaller brush, um, get some more of this detail in here. And of course the clouds. So all you do for clouds, now that you have that um, blue already down there as your base, is you're just gonna put some white on your paintbrush and you're just gonna pop them in. I still have a little bit of blue on this paintbrush, so that's why it's not working as well as I'd like, but this is the essence of what I'm talking about. You're just gonna go in with some white on your brush and put them in like that. I just blot the canvas with my paintbrush, kind of like, and I use a bigger brush, it's easier. But that's how I do clouds. So you can put as many clouds in there, you can put a rainbow in there if you want. That would be interesting, a rainbow over rainbow mountain. So, I hope you're feeling just as relaxed and great as I do. And I can't wait to go on another adventure with you guys. Thanks for joining us at Painting for Wellness and I will see you next time.
Bye.